Dear students, my sincere and best wishes to all of you for coming to the class examinations. Now I will explain about Himalayas. Himalayas are home to our country. Himalayas acts as natural barrier and Himalayas protect our country from the enemy countries. Himalayas total geographical extent is 5 lakh square kilometers. The Himalayan ranges they run in west and east with a distance of 2400 kilometers with a geographical area of 5 lakhs square kilometers. These Himalayas are comprised of three parallel ranges. Northernmost Himalayan range is Himadri or Greater Himalayas. Himadri towards south side and Shivaliks towards north side. Middle range is called Himachal or Lesser Himalayas. Southernmost Himalayan range is called Shivali. Between these three ranges, deep valleys and extensive plateaus are there. Now, first I will explain about Himadri. The average height of Himadri is 6100 meters. Glaciation process is going to be takes place in Himadri range only. And next, come to the Himachal or Lesser Himalayas. The average altitude of Himachal or Lesser Himalayas ranges between 3700 meters to 4500 meters. The prominent mountain ranges are there in Himachal region. Pirpanjal range, Dauladar range and Mahabharat range. In Himachal, there are popular valleys are there like Kashmir Valley, Kulu Valley, Kangra Valley. And also in Perpanyal range, some important hill stations are there. Simla, Nainital, Mussoorie, Rani Kate, Chakrata, and in West Bengal, Darjeeling. And next, in Himachal, the type of natural vegetation is evergreen oak coniferous forest. Let's come to the Shivadiks. Shivaliks are southernmost range of Himalaya. The average altitude of Shivaliks ranges between 900 meters to 1100 meters. And the width of Shivaliks ranges between 10 kilometers to 50 kilometers. Between Himachal and Shivaliks, the valleys are called dunes. Example, Dehradun and Patlidun and quickly do. These Shivaliks are made up of with conglomerates, gravel. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this video.